So guys, I'm at the skate park and I'm going to show you a practice session on blades with no hockey stick as it occurs. I really like the organized practice because there's a great deal of freedom as far as not having to worry about traffic or pedestrians, that sort of thing. Almost all my skills were built first in a parking lot or on a rink like this. So today I will practice. Early on I'll do one foot of stability, get nice and deep for my stride, and then move quite early into my sprint once I know that I'm warm. I'm not that fussy about what happens when I warm up. I like to do a few squats, a few deadlifts, just play around a little bit until I'm ready to sprint. I try to get the sprint out of the way quite early because I like to be snappy and fresh. Sprinting does take full dedication and concentration to get right, even though it looks quite simple. So if my first six steps are good, my subsequent 12 steps will be solid too. Running as fast as I can and then allowing myself to skate a little bit lower with longer strides. Here you can see if you pause at any point in the split screen coming up that my sprints have become identical and I've won this one on the last sprint by about an inch. From sprints I'll go into jumps. The only fake thing I'll do in this video today is I'll put a line that I'm jumping over like a piece of tape or something. It is important to know how high you can jump so when you're on the street, you can assess the challenges more shrewdly. So the first marker I put up at a point where I knew I would be comfortable and the second marker where I knew I wouldn't. And immediately upon failure, I put it right back to the same spot and relied on my own indignant anger to propel me over. Uh, it wasn't that. Not a very happy jumping day for me. I wasn't super pleased about that. After jumps, I'll practice power stops and I'll play around with carving after that and hope that my carves turn something into a power stop. It becomes a bit of a fusion at points where using my momentum and my stopping power makes sense at the same time. That makes sense. When I practice carves, I usually bring a bag of pucks and use those to zip around. But today, I didn't feel like having a heavy load, so I was just going free from What I really wanted to see is could I power stop on both sides? In the clips afterwards, you'll see my practice, which actually took place before this clip. So this is kind of the result of how my power stopping on both sides practice went. This is how I warm up for power stop practice. Just taking one stride at a time and dropping down into a power stop and then repeating on the opposite side. It's very easy to stay low in the correct profile on this and it's a slow drill too you don't get a lot of speed so it feels pretty safe the stopping practice on alternating sides started off pretty well there's a few things that you can see in my less dominant side that are still in need of correction mainly it comes down to the way I'm set up for the sprint afterwards on my dominant side I stop and I am ready to cross over and skate forward whereas on the less dominant side it's a little clumsier On that fall, I let my back foot get ahead of me. It should always be under me, bowed and under me. So in this clip, I understood exactly why my power stops aren't progressing as well as they could be. And it's because I'm anticipating turning too early. So watch, I'm stopping. I don't execute entirely and I'm turning before I'm done. Here, I stop and spring out of it. Anticipation turning, execution, and bring out. It's a subtle difference, but it's important. Oh, there we go. That was okay. I think this last one's good too. Yeah, I started to get it. So that is a basic practice of mine. I enjoyed myself for the most part. I really found a weakness in my jump height. I would have put myself at like four inches higher, but don't we all say that? And uh, yeah, I've got something to work for on that. And after everything formal is done, I'll probably skate around to music. Just play around. Maybe do a semi-dance that nobody knows is a dance. Here we go.
Check out my Teespring collection. There's quite an interesting array of t-shirts. It's getting a little bit goofy.